In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite way to deal with cornerback blitzes from the bunch tight end. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some tools from the bunch tight end. But before I do that, I want to encourage you that if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to learn more about this game or get better at this game in some way, I would definitely encourage you to hit the subscribe button. My channel completely focuses on that. We release eight videos every single day with different tips and strategies that you can apply to your own game to help you become a better player. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, I would highly encourage you to do that. It's completely free. And I also just want to highlight really quickly, my bunch tight end offense right now is for sale for about 15 bucks. Um, very low price for that kind of uh, quality of an ebook. Very, very effective offense. And in today's video, I'm going to give you kind of a, a sample of it and also a solution to a problem that I've been having uh, personally. So, again, if you want to get a, the, the full ebook, the link is in the description. All right, guys. So, let's take a look at this. This is Bunch Tight End. Um, and normally I'm in the Run Heavy Playbook, but today I'm in the Raiders book. And I just want to talk to you specifically about. The PA boot over um, and a, an adjustment that a lot of people will do um, when you start running this consistently. So really what it comes down to is a lot of people don't know how to stop this play. Um, they know how to contain it or they know how to like blitz the freaking daylights out of it. And so first and foremost, I just want to kind of start with um, kind of a general um, a general what most people will do to stop it. So what most people are going to do is they're going to run some kind of Mabel coverage you know, they'll maybe use her in the middle of the field. Um, but all you're going to – your setup is just to delay fade the tight end. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to motion out without a scantling. And then if you can get out of the pocket, you roll out, release the tight end. You keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. And you see all of the zones drop back away from it, and you can basically throw it for about 30 to 50 yards very consistently now let's say you know they might you might say well what what if they run man coverage right what if they run man coverage well this play is also a literally a probably a glitch against man coverage essentially what happens is the player that's guarding the tight end will convert into a quarterback spy you'll see here he'll blitz off the edge and so once he blitzes i can just release him release him release him and the same kind of result's going to happen as you see there. I think both plays resulted in about 25 to 30 yards for an easy, easy dot over the middle of the field. The other thing that you have going for you within this play is you also have a crossing route that is going to get open against every zone drop in the entire game. So no matter what zone drop they use, this crossing route has a really good chance of getting open, especially with this post route to kind of pull the deep blue zones. Um, and as you can see right there, the crossing route is open, and so you really put your opponent in a position where he has to play hard flat coverage, he has to play over the top coverage, and he has to have a deep coverage, and he has to defend the delay fade. So a lot to guard within one play, and if you're in mutt and you can use a playmaker ability, it's even better. Now if they're running a lot of man coverage, you know there's a rule of thumb that you kind of want to run against man coverage and you want to sit against zone coverage. So one of my favorite little techniques here is let's say that they're playing a lot of cover. Let's just, let's just say that they're playing, um, you know, a lot of cover four. You know, maybe they're playing a lot of Mabel coverage, something like you know this right here. You know, and again, they're just they're just kind of trying to to do their best um, to do their best to be able to stop this. So let me just kind of give you some 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 combinations here. But they've got a lot of coverage, right? The beauty of the delay fade is they're almost always going to have to user that. So what you can do is you could just simply take Tavon Austin here and you could essentially put him on a hitch route and at once everything falls away from you as you see here we're playmaking every you know play is kind of breaking down you see that now he's going to route bounce up into the middle of the field okay so that's another little option that you could use one other thing that you could do is depending on um, especially if they're setting their zone drops. When people set their zone drops, the defenders won't match properly. And so what's going to happen is, like with a, with a route that goes vertical, so if I roll out here, I can just playmaker him up, and as you can see, he's now in a really, really good position. So the bottom line of this video is that this is a very hard play to stop. It's kind of the pillar play of the ebook. Um, but there's so much more that you can do than just this. 
And there's some things that people are going to do when they start trying to basically stop this. One of the things that you're going to see a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot, is two or three different defenses, but they're all kind of the same concept. And that is to, they'll, they'll do this big nickel over G, like corner blitz three. And you'll see here, um, see that right there? They're going to basically blitz the corner off the edge. And they're going to hit the QB contain, but you see that that's going to put this defensive end in a contain, and it's going to put the, the cornerback in a position where he can come off the edge. So, for example, if I do the same strategy here, um, you're going to see if I try to roll out, it's not going it, to, sometimes it's going to get open still, but it's not going to, it's going to be a little harder. It's going to be a little harder to roll out. The problem with this is it doesn't account for motion. It doesn't account for some of the things that you can do um, from a motion perspective. So let me show you this one more time and then we'll get into some of the motion tricks and techniques. But again, if I'm just running this three by one, when I do this, you see they have a decent chance. You see, as soon as I get, you see that right there, it kind of muddies up the rollout. There's two things I want to talk about as far as how you can deal with this. The first one doesn't require any motion whatsoever, but to run this, they basically have to crash their line up. And when they crash their line up, what that's going to do is it's going to basically leave a wide open running lane uh, for your quarterback to run right up the middle. So once you kind of do this handoff here, and again, sometimes it's better than others, but once you, once you kind of see that they're crashing their line out like that, then what I would recommend doing is trying to scramble right up the middle. Um, and, you you know, this can look a little bit different depending on, you know, what quarterback you have and everything. But, like, right up in this little pocket right here. Um, now, again, with the three rec, I need to get that three rec out of the way because the reality is most of the time when people run a defense like this, they're going to be using this uh, middle linebacker, and they're more than likely going to go guard the cross, you know, almost every single time. And so, um, you know, that's just something that you have to be aware of. But, again, you just kind of sit here, and, again, you see this little hole right here? You can kind of get up. Now, another thing that you can do is you can basically cancel the play action. So you can essentially say, okay, I don't want to do the play action anymore. I just want to scramble, um, or I just want to basically step up in the pocket. So, for example, you set up the same thing, and now what I'm going to do is just rapidly click the right trigger, climb the pocket, climb the pocket, and then scramble for about four to five yards. That is super, super consistent, and you can pretty much count on the fact that you're going to consistently get a pretty good amount of yardage if you cancel that play action if you see a defense like this. Because the, the reality is there's nobody in the middle of the field. So, again, I can cancel, and then I can basically just scramble. Now, if there's a quarterback spy there, that's a whole other ball game. But, you know, again, more than likely that's not going to be there. But the most important thing that you can do um, is you can mess with their alignment a little bit through motioning. So um, what you can do is you can take Tavon Austin and put him on an out route. Now, um, what most people will do is they'll do one of about three things. They'll either man the corner up on Tavon Austin, they'll put him into a flat zone, or they'll put him into a um, or they'll put him into you know or they'll put him into a deep blue zone. None of those three is really going to work. So when you motion this guy over, you see the cornerback move. Now, if the cornerback is blitzing off the edge, we're going to get a pretty good um, we're going to get a pretty good little uh, blocking technique there. And let me show you that one more time. So again, if the cornerback is blitzing off the edge, we're going to contain rush. And then I just want you to show, show you what happens here. So first things first, if the cornerback is blitzing blitzing off of the edge, you can hit this quick out literally all day. All day, that's an easy five, easy six, seven yards that you can hit. The other thing that you can do is kind of the same thing that we were talking about before, where you can basically, you know, kind of essentially step up into the pocket and make a read. So you can kind of snap it right here. And then I just want to step, run right up the middle. That's more of what we're looking for and get about 15 yards and slide. That's another thing that you can do in your arsenal. And then another thing that you can do is instead of trying to roll out, you can basically get your get your Tom Brady on and beat the team from the pocket. So uh, the easy way to do that is just you're going to, again, rapidly clicking right trigger is going to cancel that play action. So rapidly click it. And then as you can see, you have all of these routes open and you, st you, you have everything open at your disposal. Now, you still are able to roll out. I want you to know that. When when you do this, when you do this motion, um, you still are 100% able to roll out. I would just ID that outside corner. But you'll see here, again, motion him out. Snap him right here. And now, look, I'm able to roll out just fine. They chase me. 
and I could wait, 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 and then still make that huge throw. So those are some little adjustments that you can make to the PA boot over to make it really successful against uh, really anything that they do. And the last little um, bit I wanted to share with you is what if they blitz everybody, right? What if they're just blitzing everybody at you? This is another strategy that people will use is they literally just blitz their entire team. Same strategy here. The only difference is we are going to snap tape on Austin uh, while he's behind the line of scrimmage so that he blocks, and I didn't quite get it there. Um, if you see that corner blitz, just throw the, get the ball out to Tavon Austin. You want Tavon Austin to block, and so the best way to get him to block is to basically snap him, um, is to basically snap the ball while he's like at the guard or the tackle. So I'll just wait here, and then I'm just going to basically spam hike right here. You see now he blocks, and now I can get out of the pocket uh, relatively easily. Okay, and again, I got sacked there, but you, you, you see, the, hopefully you kind of see the point um, of what we're trying to accomplish. If they're, this is blitzing, um, I think this is blitzing seven people, uh, and, you're, and you're picking it up relatively easily. Um, you could if you wanted to, like if you wanted to pick this up, you could just hit right trigger, it'll pick everything up, and then you can just block them. You know, you can just get the ball out easily that way as well. Um, I just want you to be prepared for, you know, a max pressure style of, of defense because that is what I have seen a lot uh, lately running this offense. People are getting frustrated with Bunch Head because it's so powerful. It's so hard to guard that they're just going to blitz the living daylights out of you. So like right here, I'm going to send eight. And you'll watch here, if I get this timing right on this snap, we're going to pick up everything. And then all of a sudden, now you've got no coverage on the back end, and that's a one-play touchdown, and they blitz eight people at us. Okay, So that's a little bit about this play and kind of how to handle some of the things that people are going to do to stop you. I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to remind you, if you want to get the full ebook, it is in the description of this video. And if you're looking for a sample, maybe you don't want to buy it yet, even though it's just 15 bucks. Um, if you're looking for a free sample to the ebook, that is available via text message. So if you just text me, my number is in the top left hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. Send me a text message. Let me know you'd like to receive the sample. I will shoot it your way immediately. Thank you so much for your time. And again, if you want to pick up that full ebook, it's just 15 bucks and it's in the description.